got time to float along until I reach the water Falling down, I wonder if I'll burn out when I hit the bottom Every day I'm swimming through the galaxy, I feel the heat The sun is shining through the blinds and washing over me I see the giants waving me on over Alright, hello guys, I'm gonna do some test hands with my Dark Magician deck that got me the plat one here A Dark Magician mate as well um, here's the deck if you haven't seen it yet in my last video. Um, I'm here's the test cards, test hand system in Master Duel. It's not that good. So we're gonna go to EDO Pro right after this, but I'm gonna keep Master Duel playing in the background because I like the music. So here we go. Here's EDO Pro. Here's the decks. Um,. Here's the decks. Uh, here's the deck. I already built it. Here's the extra deck. Everything is built. Side deck. I, I put this Kaiju in because it's just an R. It's a pretty good board breaker. We have Droplet. Evenly match. Really good board breaker. Here. Um, summon Limit. Really good. If you don't want to play Skill Drain. And yeah, let's start to Sans. Alright. This is pretty good. We have... We have Rod Souls pretty much here. We can Rod... We rod for, do we rod for circle or salvation? I think we rod for salvation. Yeah, so we can get that eternal soul confirmed. Mm -hmm. Um, we set soul servant. You set skill drain. What an Artemis. This is, uh, I don't know. This is just like my favorite lineup play. Just having Rod by itself. I don't know why. Yeah, Maxi, if they try to do anything. So I'm just going to pop Maxi here and then phase so it doesn't bother me. Maxi. We chain. Is it Soul Servant? Um, we get Souls on top of our deck. Use Rod. Should be Artemis. And now you have the draw to play. There you go. Um, I'm just run. And now you can now you can get two bodies on the field. This is why I love running the bond package because you can salvation with the bond package is so good. I think this is game here pretty much. So we get the um. I can turn this into game. All right, let's just activate Eternal Soul here. Um, no. No. So Alright, so let's summon Dark Magician. Bond. Teacher, student. We get Dark Magician. Alright, where's the girl? We have the blow up card. And let's see how many spells we have enough. We activate. Okay, this is just ridiculous now. Terraform, we can get Secret Village from main phase 2, so you can activate spells next turn. This is just, he's just gone here. We, act, we activate Piercing, so we switch to the Dark Magician. Um, here we go, we go into Selene. So I'll run Ross from Reborn as an Extender. We activate Selene. We got a Russian girl back on the field. We use Salvation. And here we can. Okay. Maha. This is just so beautiful here. Okay. There's a few things you can do here. You can literally, you can do so much stuff. I'm going to go for the, let's see, we have, okay, so this, this is like the finishing game. So th this game is going to go on for a little bit, but here, we're going to, okay, we only can do that with effect monsters. Okay, so we make, Link Spider, we make, Access Code Talker. Oh, 
was asking for two or more. Ask or talk, or you stop propping before committing more. Um, you make Verte on a Conde. You can special summon some stuff back. You can activate this. I'll just summon Dark Magician. No. You can use Agnaconda's effects. This. We can make Contwit here, so. I can have enough for Contwit, so. Yeah. See, we have Selene. This is why we have Artemis. We have. Um, we have Selene. Oh, you'd, you'd use that for access code. So let me deselect Selene. And Artemis. So you'd have. You'd have Souls. Rod. Mahad, because Mahad is not coming back. You want to keep Dark Mission Girl, so maybe you want to you want to keep Selene and Artemis for just destroying everything. Quintet here, you pop the entire field. We have Lethal here by so much. Um, some for why can't we go into? Yeah, we need two monster different names. Yeah, so this will just be Lethal, and he'll be dead here. Yeah. And then battle phase, we attack, like, yeah, let me put him to, like, really low life points here. 25, he'll be dead by just Anaconda here. You wouldn't need to go into Quintet, but if you want to, and then end phase, you just Secret Village, no spells. What are you going to do to get rid of your back row? Fortunate, you, you can't use Dark Burning, so, anymore. Did we banish Dark Magician Girl? Yeah. So here you probably reborn Dark Magician Girl. You can just pop the entire field here instead of going into Quintet. That's that's another line of play. I always went to Quintet for the flashy play, you know, because I never summoned this card. This card can be so good. All right. Um, we need Dark Magician in play. We don't have Dark Magician in play, so we just set set three. If they buy X Arm us, we pretty much lose here. We get Dark Magician in play. This is just beautiful. So here, you pretty much, you're going to plus so much. Um, um, here, let me show you how we're going to plus. Our right, end phase. Activate skill, you can activate skill drain whenever you want. Um, Acquisition, banish. Draw here. Forgot we put what we put on top, but we put upstart. We're gonna draw into our dark burning here. So we really want to upstart into souls here right now. Oh, this this is why. See right there, we upstarted, but we didn't pull off Mahad's effect. This is why you don't use upstart while you have another draw power card. This is what you could have done here. You could have Link Spider. Eternal Soul, Dark Magician, Banished again, and then you would Piercing, and you would draw into Mahad, and Mahad would actually go off. But here, thank God we draw it into Apprentice, so look, I think this is game here as well. Apprentice, um, here, um, activate this. Especially if they have a dark monster, you can just leave that on the field. Mahad will become a 2 pay beast stick. We we have enough spells in the graveyard. You make Selene. Yeah, this is just make Selene. Um, oh, we can summon for our hand. And then we would have to go into I'm Duck, so we can get an extra link here. You can also go into just Apprentice and then. It would be good. So let's rush them in and then we can go into the access code. And then you have... You have three pops here. Did they use up Artemis? Yeah. You have three pops. And that's pretty good. And this is almost game. Just a little bit more will be game. If they have a dark monster, you attack with this first. You don't pop their dark monster, you attack with this force, you get 5k, and you just either it's probably game from there. Alright, 
Um, okay, so let's activate this. We can go into the Dark Magicians here. This is Secrets is so good. Alright, we so summon Dark Magicians. So I run Veiler. Um, activate this first. And this is really good because then we can set Dark Burning Magic. And if they pop. See, we're gonna get two draws here. Hopefully, they'll draw into my heart with the first one. How about a grave? Okay. Maxi. So now you can confirm the maxi. If they pop it, you have dark burning. You can confirm the maxi because if they try to take us out, call by the grave. If they try to negate it straight out, you just call by the grave their ash. It's really good. Alright. Um. This is a this is a hope and pray moment if we don't get like souls. Souls would be really good here. Um, we have Maxi for their turn. Say Maxi. Okay, set turn of soul, turn up the deck. And draw a one up star. If we don't get a combo piece, it's like you just have to put on Maxi here. Yeah, we did get a combo piece. This is really bad drawing both of these. See, the bond spiker can be pretty bricky sometimes and a magical eyes as well. So maybe I want to remove Magical Eyes, but it's good for if you have nothing else. So you can just go into two effect monsters, like Rod. If you only have access to Rod Souls, you can't get DM out. You can't get Dark Magician Girl out. You can't get anything else out. You just Rod Souls, go into Anaconda. And you can probably, if you have Dark Magician Girl and two other spellcasters, if you get into Artemis, you can go into Quintet. So it's really good for that. Right here is pretty bad. You always want to send this off Anaconda. You never want to see this in your hand. You never want to see this in your hand either. Unless you got to add it back with Soul Server and you already have them in your field. Because you're going second. So it's pretty good. Um, here, this is a prime example of how to unbreak yourself. You. This goes off on the resolution, right? Yes. So. Unbreak yourself. Fusion Summon. Unbreak. And. Um, activate this. Ash Blossom Skill Drain. If they pop this, we get both of them back. If they if they are able to pop both of our monsters that come back, we get Eternal Soul Salvation back, both of them back. We have Ash Blossom. This is a pretty good interruption board. If they activate anything, or if we activate anything, we could probably activate. We should probably activate Soul Servant first. I mean, Eternal Soul first. So we get our draw. We can draw if we draw into like a good spell or trap, like another skill drain. If they try to pop this one, it's pretty good. And we can set it. Soul Servant would be like the best draw here because we can Soul Servant into Rod. We can almost summon Rod. Get Circle. Um, use circle, draw draw two cards from the top of our deck because we can, you know, rearrange with circle. Alright, next start. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is pretty good. We have we have the try. It's, it's a shame that this is not a Magician Souls, but it's okay. Let's break right now. Um, we rod. Soul Servant. And we have the play now. So set, set. We can even draw through here. If we're greedy, greedy, we don't use Soul Servant to get souls. We just get use Eternal Soul. So here, look. This is just how greedy I am. All right, end phase. Yes. No, not that card. Eternal Soul. Soul Servant. I'll place the top of my deck. So we place a hard. Use. All right, this is about to become beautiful. I'll draw into my hard. Okay. 
See, this is the problem with Circle at this latest stage. We have so many of our cards. We can pretty much only get... I always activate Mon first. Shuffle, shuffle the deck as much as possible. And thin out that deck. See here, what is what is what is Circle gonna pull us? And what it doesn't matter because we're just gonna draw all three cards. Yeah, see, look, look at all this interruption. Activate, and we just draw three. Look at this, beautiful. Um, we have enough spells. We have enough spells. Go into Celine. Um, yeah, this is just over. So you go into Celine with. Uh, let me show you. You go into this is over here. Pop, pop, pop. Um, no. Exactly three slots. Make sure you count. Make sure you count. All right. We got Dark Mission Girl from the Graveyard. That pops Salvation. And this is turn three. Don't forget, this is turn three. So if you survive this, you're just you're Gucci right now. Um, what do you do here? You can Eternal Soul. Link Spider this away. Um, make access code with these two. If you 300, you can also go to a level. You can also look at this. Look at this field. It's so good. So, this is just game here 2 5k, 10k. Uh, you can also go into Ebba and some of another Dark Magician Banish. So, that would be like the best play here because we don't have another Dark Magician in Grave. So, but look, this is, this is going. Yeah, I never. Um, aha, because we're going to have one, one on the field. Position. And then this is just, this is just game. So much game. Um, battle phase. It's just attack. Attack. He's down 200. This will just kill him, but we're going to main phase 2. Activate this. No more spells. We can pop this entire field. We have skill drain. We have banish. Turtle soul banish. We have maxi. We have effect veiler. He's not winning past this point. Like, oh, we don't have eternal soul banish. This is the problem with XCs. You would probably want to go into Zeus. No, no, Zeus is bad. No, nope, not Zeus. Um, hmm. This is the problem with XCs. Now your dark magician is stuck. It's just stuck there forever because you can't special summon another one from hand or deck. So it's just stuck there forever until they destroy it. You could. I'm duck? Yeah, this is what I would do. You'd I'm duck? Um. You Anaconda for. And then you just. You banish one Dark Magician. You get the Dark Magicians right here. Look. I'm here. No. Look at Contra because this is main phase two. Match your dark magician. You just banish a bond because you're not getting the back. I have this. Um, during their draw phase, wherever you want, they can't they can't activate spells. So you're less likely to get this off. So you have to activate this off yourself. So you would probably such a summon dark magician. And the problem is th this effect is not live. Uh, how can we get this this effect live? So so dark, dark magicians is it's just a way to, for you to get a banish. That's pretty much the only reasons here, cause you have to act. You can't you can't activate spells, so you're less likely to get the draw off of it. You can't activate its floating effect, cause dark magicians on dark magician girl is stuck on the field, and I can't get rid of it without getting to my turn. Um, we already normal summon, right? Yes, so you would activate eternal soul, banish something, get the draw off, and then we have a pop, and we have this and this, so there's no way he's winning after this point. Alright, next that's him. Um
Alright, this is... It is just rod and pray day. Rod, this is just rod. Yeah, rod and pray. Um, skill drain. Skill drain might tempt you. F if if you're certain that you're gonna activate skill drain, get salvation. So you have you have a way to protect your life points. On it would be their turn four, so you can special summon dark magician over and over again. You can ash, but if you're certain, let's see what let's see what we get with. Here, this is the problem. This is this is what the position. This is if you don't get like a decent starting hand with at least like two cards, you can't really do anything for like two turns here. So here, okay, here we can do something. We can do something. Here, you would get secrets here, definitely secrets. So you can get two cards, two new cards here, and then you. Oh my god, Secrets is just such a good card for unbreaking. You attack first, of course, but you, you can also Secrets and see what you draw. You ban we banish, so servant, draw one, and then we can draw, we're gonna draw off of the other effects. Look at this. Give me Eternal Soul. Oh, that's... Look at this. We can, you can go for Secrets if you really want to lock them down, but I'm gonna go for Salvation, because so we have the Triangle. Um, I think the triangle is a little bit better. No, oh, oh. Wait, okay, you can just. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we. See, look at this. We already have an Ash Blossom in here. Oh, the effects are Do we want to draw that? Only. Imagine if spells are activatable that are not just quick plays in your opponent's hand. So I'll put a probably effect veiler on top. It would be probably the best decision. So now we have Ash Blossom Interruption. We're setting this. If they destroy this, we have um, Circle Banish. If it's not in the damage step, we have Dark Burning Wipe. We have Skill Drain. We have Ash. This is just really good here. All right. Um, all right. Here is the Bread and Butter combo of the deck. Um, let's always oh, start with Salvation because it can't be Ash. We need a card that sets. Eternal Summon deck. Um, since we have most of our spells, you want to get Dark Magician in play. So you want to circle first. Maybe you do. No, we don't. You circle first is this your second turn, or you really think you're gonna draw into something here? It is. It's just I want to get a confirmed card from the top of my deck here. Here, okay. That's what I'm gonna do. You send Dark Magician for cost and take it. Or so, but there. It's just Dark Magician, such as something. Okay. Yeah, circle. Wow, look, look at this. It's unfortunate. Okay. Off star would be bad here, so. I'm sorry, it would draw me into a brick. Maybe Upstar would be better because even with the brick, you would. So you can go into level 7 XCs. If you put Upstar first, you Upstar into Mahad. This is turn 2, right? No, this is turn 1. This is turn 1. Okay, this is turn 1. So you would Upstar into Mahad if you don't want the extra attacks. And this can go into here. Let's go into the level seven XCs. Um, during the battle phase, if this was a turn one, you would secrets go into it. You would do almost all their life points and damage. And then you have the eternal soul loop going. You have the draws. You have skill drain to interrupt them. It's really good. Um, here. Here we have terraforming, terraforming. Such a good card I just added to the deck today. So we have everything we need here. Um, yeah, we have really everything we need. Yeah, 
And this is this is this is the conundrum. We can. We have a dark mission in hand, so we can be greedy and not put a body on the field and not get piercings draw this turn. So we're gonna definitely activate piercing. We wait until next turn. We can souls, put souls on the field, leave DMG in the grave. Set dark burning, eternal soul during their draw phase. Summon dark magician. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. This is what I was thinking. Dark magician girl goes to the grave. I should summon this card in defense position. Um, you can also like delete salvation and stuff, but I'm gonna keep them on right now. So just pretend like their end phase is their draw phase, because we there's really no so end phase. Eternal soul. Let's just summon this. Activate piercing. Activate salvation. Oh, well, during their draw phase, so they can't they can't do much. We drew we drew into the other dark magician. Okay. Um. So we we have the pop available. This game. Yeah, this is. Wait, how many spells do we have? Make sure. Okay, we have three spells. So this is what we do here. Yeah, this is the game. <sighs> Salvation can just get you game for free. It's so free. It's just, it's, you just get so many bodies. It's a lean place. Hey, graveyard. You might you might want to go in the opposite direction, but you maybe want to save your links. We're gonna draw again. Let's see what we draw into. Rod. I'm start. I'm starting to rod. Or soul servant. Yeah, this is just this is just funny. All right, we go into access code, and you can start popping here. Um. Yeah, this is just this is gonna get very very ridiculous very fast. Rod of course. You can also go into your unbreakable board here. Maybe Rod was not the best pool. No, we're gonna just go to Rod. Yeah, this is just it's gonna become ridiculous very fast here. Rod, this is all turn three. You rod into you do not rod into circle here, I don't think. You rod into the secrets. Oh, we, did we use I'm Duck already? No, we use I'm Duck. Oh, this is a problem. Okay, here. You would not rod in the place that I rotted. Here. Because it, it, it stopped me from doing my link play. No, we can. No, we can't do it, but. We're gonna fusion summon here. Um, Dark Magician, so. You wanna keep your link paths open. If, if this. If this had more link paths. Um, like better link paths like Selene does. You would link away Dark Magician into I'm Duck. Use secrets. Oh, use secrets on I'm Duck and the Dark Magician in our hand. Make our unbreakable board. You know, you know it already. Piercing with Eternal Soul can't be broken unless they have Kaiju plus Twin Twister or yeah, Kaiju plus Twin Twister and they chain Twin Twister to you trying to activate Eternal Soul to bring back the Dark Magician Dragonite. Um, yeah, you already know that play, and we could go into more stuff. We can we can already we can summon another. Yeah, let's see, we can summon another. This is a game over, over a thousand here. Yeah. Another dark magician from the grave. I I just said I was okay. You never want to summon in the in the link point of links where. Um, we got that. We can go into level level seven XCs. Banish, take cards. Can't banish again though no, with Ebon, so Ebon would be like the worst choice here. Go into Anaconda, you go into you go into I'm Duck, your next turn. And this is just game here. So you just battle phase here. This is game through 5,000 through 3 skill drain, main phase 2. You activate secrets, they pretty much lose here because the Twin Twisters path. 
See, if you went the Dragon Knife half, the Twin Twister Passes gets locked off from... From the... From the secret, the village. Even if they, if they, even if they kaiju your dragonite, you still have village, so they can't twin twister you. So the only thing that can beat this right now is evenly match or non-target banishes. That's the only thing that can beat our board right now. It's so only Shreg and evenly match. Also, what what other, what other thing beat our board? Um, Zeus. But we have skill drain, so. We have skill drain, so this board is unbreakable. Wait, no, it's not unbreakable anymore. See, this is the problem. Dragonite is part of the unbreakable combo and also Secret Village. Dragonite is more important than Secret Village. But here, they all they have their advantages and disadvantages. I'm going to end with this. Dragonite doesn't work on their skill drain. Secret Village does. Secret Village only blocks spells. So, evenly mat. So... Traps that traps that target our our spells or destroy uh, like traps monster effects. So skill drain would protect them from the monster effects, but trap effects are a weakness if we have skill drain secret village. If we have dragon knight secret village, we're we're weak to Shreg and Zeus, which are like the top cards in. In the meta, because Zodiacs and Shreg with Tri Brigades. So we're weak to those cards without skill drain. So you have to pick your poison here. So we're either going to be weak to monster effects or we're going to be weak to travel effects. But S Secret Village covers both, so we're good. So that spells are like the most common. Like Lightning Storm, Twin Twister, Cosmic Cyclone, all, the, all that stuff targets. Even though Cosmic, Cosmic Cyclone targets, but it banishes. Yeah. Evenly match, non-target banish. Evenly match can out Rongo. That's how broken evenly match is. Cause they can it it doesn't even banish. I'm not banishing your card, so Rongo says unaffected by opponent's card effects. You have to choose cards to banish. So since you have to choose it, Rongo can be outed by evenly match. So here's the last um board here. We have called by the grave. Negate. Yeah, call by the graves to negate like um, a tri brigade play. So that could shut off Shrek. Call by the grave. It shut off like the tri brigade um, line of like uh, Karas, um, not Karas, uh, Fractal into Nerval and stuff like that. Kits. They usually go Fractal, Kits. You just want to stop Fractal. Cause you do not want them to fill up their graveyard, cause then they will just start doing shenanigans with revolt and all that stuff. So you just want something. I learned that the hard way, cause I I, I was told to ask the the, um, the nerval, but you want You just want to ask the fractal, cause they can just still revolt you and do all kinds of all kinds of silly silly plays. And then zodiacs, you know, they just rank up. Maxi is really good against them. If you maxi. I just maxi their normal summon of their Zodiac. Or if they maxi into a really bad Zodiac, you might wanna max you want you might wanna if they exceed into a really bad Zodiac, you might wanna maxi there. But I usually just maxi on their normal summon so they don't start stacking. And they give me four extra cards which I can probably use to out their Zeus. Yeah, but Zeus is a really weakness of this deck though. Because it's just descending is just crazy. Um Drytron. Drytron is a problem if they go first. If they go first, you have no hand traps. Like, sometimes it, they have the Herald of the Orange Light. I'm gonna go through all the matchups. Um, they have the Herald of the Orange Light. That negates your hand traps. So, if they if they have that with, like, a Drytron opener, you're kind of dead. Like, most likely. If you go, if you go sec- if you're going second. But they can negate your Maxi. Maxi usually stops them. If you ask their, their important card, Usually stops them if you know when to ask you use you need like a whole spreadsheet because they their combos are so long and intricate. You usually want to ask their their normal summon their diviner because that diviner turns into Beatrius and they send Arc light to the to the graveyard to search a ritual monster or spell so that you usually want to Just ash or imperm that or fail or that you really just 
want to stop them and it makes it level six and then they go into ben 10 and then they do all shenanigans beatrice into beatrice yeah um other matchups outledge outledge um once you see that the first outledge card the skill drain becomes useless so you just souls your skill drains um call by the grave is usually good against outledge of course um we have the dark the circle banishes which is really good they want to get rid of that circle asap because they hate the, out the outledge um this card is really good against outledge as well but they don't really yeah because they run they run they run the pots that banish this card here they run the pots that banish from their extra deck and this card banishes face down cards equal to the number of face down banishes and since all those cards banish from the extra deck like extravagance prosperity if they banish six you banish six from the top of the deck you might banish the outledge if this destroys but the problem is all their outledge mods if you destroy one of their trap cards it doesn't pop so this is the problem if their outledge is attack position you can pop this destroy it and then banish their outledge as well you can banish their problem extra deck monsters like the the 2k i already said that in my last video um, that's the Outledge matchup. Sky Strikers. Sky Strikers just lose this. You know, Secret Village. They lose two Circle Banishes. You banish their. Um. Because they usually play Pot of. What's that thing? The Pot that returns the cards to the deck and the draws to. Because they want to recycle their Link monsters. Pot of Avarice. That's the card. Usually play that. So if you start banishing their. Their Kagari. Because they, they can only play that on one. You banish if they use the um, Jacky card that says let them set cards. You can banish um, before it goes to the graveyard. You can banish their uh, their engage because they only play that too, and they really want to recycle that and get those free pluses. Um, that's a strike tracker matchup. Um, virtual world, virtual world usually gets outed by skill drain, but they can out skill drain with the sh um, the shushu. So you want to just banish the Shushu as as equal as possible, as quickly as possible. Um, virtual world. What what other like matchups would I want to talk about? Dark Magician. Um. Adam and Spaders, if they go first, you usually lose because they end on like a lot of Omni Gates, you know. Sorry from using your extra deck, the Buster Lock, Appaloosa. Um, yeah, they just end on a, a giant board that we can't out without Droplet and stuff like that. And I usually just side Droplet, so it's just the best, best of one in game. Invoked, the Invoked deck, Shadows, they usually lose to Skill Drain. But they have graveyard effects that are really powerful that can destroy your back row. So be careful of that. You do want to call by the grave that graveyard effect. Um, the, of course, Alistair, the strong storm summon in the game. They, they lose the skill drain. Sometimes you lose skill drain. So you want. And then there's also Dinos. Dinos, they end on. Usually end on Boral, Boral Lord, Savage Dragon, which is Omni Negate. So that's a problem. You want to just bait out that as quickly as possible. Usually end on the. Uh, Ultimate Conductor, Tyranno. That's a pro another problem card because you can flip all the cards face down. And that's pretty bad. Um, and then Phantom Knights, Rongo. Rongo, if they Rongo first turn, I think you just you just scoop. Like if they Rongo first turn, you just scoop. Maybe you have. You really want to hand trap. You really want to pop Maxi as soon as possible because they've such something like twenty times. But you might, you might, if you don't maxi into like a failure or an ash, you're kind of screwed. You really want to ash their, their, the, the link three. Let me, let me check what it's called. Their, their Bardish. You want to banish that. I mean, you want to ash that. Stop their plays. Um, and I will be going live tomorrow, I think, to stream some NNR with my Dark Magician Ritual build. It's not that good, so don't expect me to like win a lot of games with that. 
I'm gonna be using Magician of Chaos now. Like, Eternal Soul with him is really good, but they just can pop your Eternal Soul so easily with the MST and the Breaker in NNR, so. And then the. 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 Phyozoics. Um, Numerons. Piercing of Darkness is good against Numeron to save me because you can make your Dark Mission get ridiculously strong. 7,500. Was it 75 or 6,500? Whatever. The second to last one gets the 4,000. And you gain that. So you become 6,500. And then the last one becomes 8,000. Destroy the Dark Mission. But you. You're saved. And they take a lot of damage. So that's pretty good. Um, Skill Drain also helps them, you know. Um, I think that's, that's pretty much like the whole top decks that are in the game. The Dynamite, yeah, you've, they're, they're evolving. So I'm just going to talk about this, like the last thing I'm talking about. The Dynamite, I've heard that the bots are evolving to take out the 13 card extra deck. And I've heard people say, like, wait, like, 30 seconds between each interaction if you have a hand trap that you can activate. Like, wait 30 seconds and the bot will insta-quit. Maybe that's a better strategy. Um, the 30-card extra deck is probably going to be outed because they have cards that we both pay life points and draw, deck, draw a card. Or that card that they've been using. So, hopefully Konami fixes that soon because Platinum is just filled with that. The DD Dynamite um, Banquet OTK or FTK, I would say. Um, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, let me. Um, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed that. Well, what would I say? Test hands plus talk about meta decks, how to combat them. Um, uh, make sure to like and subscribe the video, and I'll probably be streaming tomorrow for like two hours with the NNR events, yeah. And hopefully I'll probably be talking about the new section pack is about to end, uh, like a week and a little bit more. But, peace, hope you enjoyed the video.